All right, so we're gonna continue on uh, assembling the engine. So I thought I would start with this uh, throttle body because it's obviously in a thousand pieces. I can't remember which way this goes. Is it that way or, or this way? I don't really know. We'll just have to try it this way. And then there's supposed to be a gasket here, something like that. I don't know why. Oh, I see. It's supposed to be in that little slot right there. Okay, so this is a TPS. So this is what will, you know, tell the engine management system how open the throttle is. Yeah, that's, yeah, that doesn't work. We're gonna have to turn this around. I was worried that the connector was gonna hit the intake here, but I guess you can use this thing because it's gonna be on like this. Yes, we got plenty of space. All right. All right, so let's put this on here. This is the throttle stopping plate, I guess you would call it. I wonder where that screw is. Ah, that is 100% lost somewhere. So I think we need to start with this thing. There should be a stopping screw right here so you can kind of set uh, the opening of the throttle. We also need a screw right here. Hmm, well I'll have to go look for those. All right, so I managed to find a couple of new screws here. So no problem, we'll just put this on here. Let's just snug this down. Looks like there's something missing here. I know what's missing. This was supposed to go on here. Ah, a bunch of paint in there. It was either that way or the other way. I will see when we get it into the car. Cause you might need to adjust for this wire here. Actually, this wire looks a little dry. I'm gonna go ahead and oil that up a little bit before I put it on here. I think we're gonna have to turn this around a little bit. I think it's supposed to be like that. That's probably more like it. There we go. That feels a lot better. And then we do the final adjustments right here uh, when it's on the car, just to kind of take up the slack. All right, let's move on. So let's put this water pipe on here. Now this one has been uh, modified slightly. I decided to remove, uh, there was a pipe coming out of here and a pipe coming out of here. So I decided to cut those off because we won't be needing them. And then I went ahead and added uh, this pipe right here since this originally comes from a Volvo 960 and they do not have a turbo. So there were no cooling lines for the turbo. So I just added that right here. So that's basically, and I also added an AN fitting for the cabin heater. So the plan is to run the hose from here inside of the turbo there. And then I will have a hose coming from the expansion tank going to this side for cooling. And then we got some oil feed lines and stuff to take care of as well. But we got all of that arriving sometime next week. All right, gasket, bolt. Okay, and then we have a bolt right here. Okay, so it's gonna be right up here. It's kind of tight. I'm gonna have to replace these bolts because this is not going to work in the long run. These need to be locking type. Yeah, there's no point in using shiny ones here because that'll just, it'll just fly off. It's it a little too hot here. All right, so while we're doing the water pipe, we might as well do this water pipe. So we got some Loctite on there. Okay, so I guess you guys can see where I'm going with this. Maybe we should put in 90 degree on here and then just, you know, flip this one over 90 degrees. So we got them coming out like that. But those are just minor details. This is kind of what I want. Just some quick connectors on here. All right, so let's move on. The next thing I want to put on here is the starter. Should go in something like this. For some reason, these engines have what's called a starter ear, <laughs> which is this thing which should of course be on this way. I don't know why Volvo decided to do that instead of having this in the bell housing, but I guess they had their reasons. But anyway, we're gonna put this on here now. I hope that we can put the flywheel on anyway. I think we can slide this in here and then there's gonna be a bracket somewhere around here as well. 
So let's get that on there. You wanna make sure that you have, don't have a bunch of paint and stuff on here. You want a good connection so that the starter motor gets a, gets a really nice connection to the, uh, the engine block. Ah, we're just gonna have to put these on here for now. It's gonna have to look a little weird, but. Bracket. Go on something like this. I actually changed these nuts out. These are not replated. They're brand new. And then we're gonna need an M8. I'm gonna make sure the starter is flat. Nothing is bent or bending. Everything looks good. Tighten this up. You can go ahead and put those three bolts in there. 40 millimeters long, M10. Nice, except for that, that's not nice. Okay, so we got the throttle body on there, we got the belt on there, we got the starter on there. What else? All right, so I think this, oh crap. Why does that, that's not good. That's right over the starter. Why is it doing that? All right, so let's drill and tap this hole. We want an uh, M8 thread on this. So we need to pre-drill this with six and a half millimeters just what I got right here. And then I got the uh, tap right here, which is an M8 standard thread. So let's go. I don't know about this drill, how sharp it is, but it's the only six and a half millimeter I have, so. Oh wow, that's really bad. I'm gonna have to look for another one. All right, a century has passed and I found another one. Uh, looking a little bit better. Threw that old one away. Yeah, that'll do. How deep do you wanna go? Well, not into the engine block. Yeah, you should really use a proper tap and stuff for this, but this will do. Just, well, just run through these as well. All right, so that brings us back to this problem. Let's undo this and see if we can't get that engine mount on underneath this. I don't know about that. <laughs> that does not feel good. Not feel good at all. Maybe I'll just wind up cutting this one off. I mean, I already got four points right here. I don't really need this little piece. I don't know what, what that's gonna do. All right, that looks a lot better, right? That looks almost like it was made to be like that and all our problems are solved. And for those of you that haven't been following this build, these engine mounts are from a place called ASS, which is Anderson Steel and Speed. They're located here in, here in Sweden. I'll put a link in the description to, to those guys. They got a bunch of engine mounts for Volvos and all kinds of cars. They do fantastic products. Uh, products. Uh, really good finish, really good welds. I can't complain. I've bought a couple of things from them and I've been nothing but happy, so. I'm not sponsored by those guys, by the way. There we go, awesome. So I thought while we're at it, we might as well do this side too. <laughs> Here's an issue. The plate is drilled M8, but it needs to be drilled M10. All right, that's it for today. I hope to see you guys in the next episode. Are you good? Hey.